audio sidechain. The audio sidechain takes an audio signal and uh, transforms it into a modulation signal. So here we have a bass sound on this track, which is played by the polysynth, and we have a kick drum here. Pretty simple. So on the polysynth itself, we apply here the audio sidechain modulator. And inside the audio sidechain, we take the output of the kick sound here. Just let, just hit play. We take here the kick output, as you can see on the view meter here, and take it in as a signal. Then we apply a rise and fall, which decides how fast the signal is uh, attacking or decaying. And then we focus here our band pass around 100 Hertz, because that's where the meat of the kick drum is. And you can see the signal here in the visualizer pretty clearly. Maybe we get more gain here. Something like this. And then we can apply the signal here to the output of the bass sound. And you can see or you can hear every time the kick drum plays we reduce the volume of the polysynth. Not only that, you can also modulate here, for instance, the cutoff. So with the audio sidechain, you're pretty free um, in terms of what you modulate. And it can be very interesting to not only modulate the output or the volume of something. You can do so much more by modulating different things here inside uh, synthesizers with other sources, for instance, here, this kick drum. Um, so now that we have this, we can also maybe reduce here the modulation of the output. And for instance, take the audio um, sidechain on a filter here. So we have a filter after the, the after the uh, bass sound. Maybe remove this here first, and then we can apply the audio audio sidechain here, not the audio rate, the audio sidechain. And instead of taking here the input from somewhere else, we can also take the output of the bass sound itself here in front. So when you choose here um, this cross or device input, then um, yeah, you take the audio signal from the device input. So we get the signal from the bass sound itself here, right in here. And we can focus here maybe also on these lower frequencies. And you get here a different kind of signal. It's not so clear like a kick drum, right? But you can also use this to modulate here something. So it's not like an audio sidechain. It's more like something where you can react to audio waveforms and can use it as a modulation signal and can make your sounds more interesting, more alive, right? So it's not only there to just reduce the bass volume when a kick drum plays. So it's not as simple as that. So make use of it in different situations. It's an interesting modulator and um, yeah, it can lead to nice sounds.